Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at pixel perfect artboards in Illustrator. If you're familiar with working with Illustrator, particularly when you're designing patterns, you'll know that there can be issues with artboards that are not not only a perfect size in that they are a whole number of pixels, no fractionals, but also there can be issues when your artboard itself is positioned not on an exact number. So it might be positioned at 1.25 instead of 1.0. So if you encounter these difficulties, there are a couple of things that you can be aware of. The first one is that the setting up here in terms of aligning your art to the pixel grid is critical and it can affect aligning artboard. So I've just turned it off. So let's go to the artboard tool. When I drag this artboard around, you can see that it is now able to have a position that is a fractional amount. This is 5.6 or something. So I'm just going to undo that. Let's go back and let's reset this tool. Now when I go to the artboard tool, when I drag the artboard around, it is constrained so it's always going to be positioned at a whole number of pixels and so that's going to avoid that problem to begin with. But this artboard here is on a fractional position. I did that deliberately because I want to show you a second method of aligning things after the fact. So you're going to use this as you move artboards around if you want to protect to make sure that your artboards always move to a whole number of pixels, a position where X and Y are whole numbers of pixels. If you've done that already and you've moved an artboard so it's not in that kind of position, this is what you can do. The tool you're going to use is on the object menu. Here it is and it's make pixel perfect. The problem is you can't select it. The issue with that is that you need to be in the artboard tool to do it. So let's click on the artboard tool and now let's go to object make pixel perfect and make pixel perfect does just as it suggests. It makes your artboards pixel perfect. So this artboard is now a whole number of pixels and it's positioned at a position that with the X and Y are whole numbers. They don't have any fractional values in them. The thing to watch out for is that that will affect potentially the art that you have on the artboard. In this case, you can see that my shape is still a fractional value. It doesn't exactly fit on the artboard. So you may want to be aware of that because you might need to adjust your shapes or your pattern or whatever. So it does come at a price. I certainly suggest that this option here for aligning to pixel grid is a good one to have selected at least while you're moving artboards around. But if you've got a document or inherited a document from somewhere where your artboards are an off size and potentially an off position, go to the artboard tool, choose object and then you can make them pixel perfect. Before we finish this video, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. Typically, mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of those courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Illustrator of which you were unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.